What's up YouTube? Frosty here. Um, I want to talk to you about a couple of things you can get at the auto parts store and a couple of things you can't. Now these are things that you should not do without. The first one is a plain old Lyle test light. Uh, Lissel, Lyle. Anyway, they are still made and you want to get one of these before they're gone. They're heavy duty. This handle is solid. That pin is in there good. Uh, the cord is good and stout, as is the clip. They're not coming out of there. This tool is not going to break on you. And you can get them for 10 or 12 bucks. Now this is uh, part number 28400. And I got this up at O'Reilly's to replace an old broken one I had in my toolbox. Um, if, if you don't feel like getting out the digital volt ohm meter, or you're just you know looking for power, I mean, it's a handy thing to have, you know, put it in the top of your tool cart, uh, one of the little drawers on your toolbox, or in your tool bag. Um, they're handy dandy. It's easy to replace the bulb when they go bad. Now, another thing, I buy one of these almost every time I go to the auto parts store is, uh, uh, I think O'Reilly's has them. It's uh, these little guys. This is, uh, they call it a police security flashlight. Now, I know everybody likes their stream lights, or um, there's another one, I think it's a Nobu. There, there's a whole bunch of lights you see out there that are high-end, high-dollar. Um, chances are, it's going to get lost. I mean, if you have a nice one, great. Keep it in your pocket, keep it in your toolbox. These are inexpensive. Uh, I have three or four of them. There's always one in the truck, there's always one in my tool cart, and I've usually got one in my pocket. You know, as we get older, uh, we can't see, and if I can't see it, I can't fix it. I never thought that would happen to me, but it did. This little sucker, it's pretty bright. It puts the phone out. Ooh. Anyhow, these are about 10 bucks. Um, they also have a UV version. Um, now, the UV version is real handy when you couple it with... One of the other things I'm going to show you tonight. Right around Christmas time, I got a tool haul from Joe's All Star Tools. And one of the things he sent me was a complete set of these beautiful Astro Pneumatic sockets. Now, what I've got here is quarter and three eighths drive, shallow and deep sockets. Uh, it's a well-made socket. Um, that band on there, that high-vis yellow band, will glow with a UV light. So if you drop this thing and it rolls under something, you're going to be able to find it with this $12 UV light or any UV light you've got lying around. Uh, now the conditions in here aren't the greatest for showing that off and just how well it works. Um, but I'm telling you, it works real good. Now, these are only available in six point as of right now, um, f which for most of us is just fine. And they come on these beautiful aluminum rails. I mean, Sun X and Astro uh, seem to have these rails available. And, you know, this set was, uh, I want to say this set was around 50 or $60. Uh, I'd have to double check on that for you. But for four of these rails, I mean, uh, a lot of people like Ernst would probably charge you that much for four of their rail sets. Uh, they hold on to the sockets well. They're not going to shake off of there. And again, you get in quarter inch from 3 16 to 9 16 And then in 3 8 let's see what we got here. I'll pull the deep ones out. In 3 8 they go from quarter inch all the way up to 3 quarter, which is a a pretty good range for your 3 8 sockets. Uh, I've also got the metric versions and I want to say that's going to be from uh, 4 to 14 and uh, 10 to 19. Let me double check that for you. I'll pull the box out. Okay, quarter inch 4 to 13, no five and a half. And three eighths, it looks like eight to 19. I lied to you. Wow. 
anyway, same thing, except the rails are blue in, in the metric version. Uh, the metric version is uh, 4143. The SAE set is a 4138. And these are great. These are going to replace some other sockets in one of my roll carts. And these will get used just about every day, I can guarantee you that. Um, you know, dropping something, being able to grab out the UV light and find it right away. I mean, that's priceless. That's going to be fantastic. Anyway, another thing that I got from Mr. Joe, speaking of being able to find stuff, is I got two of these, also from Astro, rechargeable lights, and these are super bright. You'll see these reviewed on some other channels. Wow. These are great, and one of the cool things about these, if I can find it, is you can pair those with this charger. It does two lights. You've got one in use, set the other one on there to charge, walk away. Uh, they've got a hook base and a magnet. Really bright, really durable. I mean, we love Astro. A lot of the stuff you buy that says Matco on it, some of the stuff that says Mac on it, it's rebranded Astro. Um, they've been making making tools for a long time. Now, they are made overseas. They're not made in the USA. Um, a lot of it's Taiwan. Um, I'd like to think they try and stay away from China whenever they can. Uh, but either way, uh, for the price, they give you an excellent product. Another thing I got to use today is one of my favorites. Now, you know I love air tools if you watch this channel. I got to use the little 209 cutoff wheel. Now, if you look at this one, I just love that. It's uh, The wheels turn 90 degrees. Um, it's got a good trigger on it. Uh, it's variable. You've got some regulation right here so you can control how much air is going in there. Uh, the wheels, I mean, I've had that wheel in there since I got it several months ago, and it's held up pretty good. I think they give you four or five of them. I got a couple extra packages, and I tell you, I liked this guy so much that I went and I bought the four-inch version. Uh, I can't think of the part number on that one off the top of my head. I want to say it's a 204. Um, but either way, the 4-inch version, it cuts really good. Um, it's a little heavier duty, and it's bigger. This guy's not too big. The standard version of that is the 208. Uh, the 208 is in line, and it looks like they just took your basic die grinder, um, probably slowed it down a little bit so these wheels don't explode, and they added this nice guard to keep them out of your eyes when they do go. And guys, these wheels will go. Wear your eye protection. Uh, I've seen these things, especially the cheap ones you get at Harbor Freight or whatnot. They will come apart, and uh, if you're not wearing safety glasses, you can be in a lot of trouble. Um, but when you're trying to cut something and you want to get through it quick, um, they're they're outstanding. Now we did a little redneck distributor recurve today. We rebuilt the distributor for our old truck and it was cold and windy out there. We didn't video it but uh, I used a roll pin in, to stop the centrifugal advance and put a set of lighter springs in there. Um, so we kind of repaired a sticky distributor advance and we limited the curve to um, about 18 degrees. Uh, and drop that thing back in there and uh, well that's a story for another time but anyway this little cutoff wheel took that roll pin and whacked it off in about three seconds I mean it was a hardened pin I tried hitting it with a hacksaw and the hacksaw just skidded across it this thing was zip done now this very tool I mean I made uh, I made a new shaft for one of our packaging machines down at the plant 
a one inch keyed stainless steel shaft um, I bought a piece from McMaster and cut it to length and made a new piece there this thing cut through that shaft like butter I mean it, it was amazing I mean if this thing had a plate on it like a circular saw I, I mean I I bet you could cut iron uh, or cut aluminum just like you were cutting lumber it feels that good um, it's lightweight um, it's the onyx so it does have a dual material and a nice rubberized grip um, you know I just love Astro tools and this here is a home run for them um, same thing with the 208 another fantastic tool um, they don't disappoint what else have I got to show you here what else was in that tool hall Japanese ratchet. I know if you watch uh, Coon Trucking or if you watch CPU the Tool Addict or uh, Mr. Subaru, uh, you'll know that the, the rage now is Japanese tools. Um, I've got a Koken on order, but what I did get is I got a few of these Nipros ratchets. This thing has back drag like you wouldn't believe. It is insanely pretty it's kind of an odd shape it's got an odd shape to it but the balance is fantastic you can tell just by looking at the head this thing is stout uh, it's a quick release it's a 90 tooth and Joe's got these on sale they're less than a hundred bucks I mean you will not find a tool truck ratchet to rival these things in beauty in function in strength or in price. I mean, they are just fantastic. Google it. Check out Nipros. Um, let's see. I've also got another Astro piece here for you. As much as I like Astro, I also love die grinders. And this one is their extended shaft version. This is the 217 quarter inch collet. This thing is beautiful. It's a little heavy, but generally what you want to use something like this for is um, engine projects. Now when I've got a block that comes back from the machine shop, a lot of the times what I'll do, and I do have another one, an older version of this, is I'll put either a stone or a carbide burr in the end and I'll go over all the edges of the block around the oil pan rail around the deck uh, sometimes around the main caps and I'll just real lightly break all those edges and the the amount of control you have over a grinder like this is just beautiful um, if you're breaking the edges on something uh, deburring something so it won't cut you if you're doing a welding project a fencing project um, building something these are just fantastic for the money um, I don't think I paid more than $69 for this and I want to say it was quite a bit less but uh, beautiful product um, lifetime warranty they're just fantastic anyhow it's gonna warm up work is gonna slow down I'm gonna be able to play here pretty soon and I'll get to show you some of this stuff in action but for now if you enjoyed that uh, please like and subscribe and we'll see you on the next one